Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and today we are going to be taking a peek at Crypto.com, where they're at around the globe from a regulatory standpoint and licensing. You know, you see a lot of FUD against Binance lately. Is that warranted? I'm going to tell you guys why, you know, I think we got to lighten up on all the FUD that Binance has been getting lately. But you also got to acknowledge that maybe that is a growth opportunity for Crypto.com. But what I really want to focus on is some of that and then where Crow's price is today and what we might have coming up in a big way for Crow versus Bitcoin, which you might not love when you first look at it. But then as we kind of zoom out and look at what's coming next, you'll be pretty excited if you're holding Crow coin, I think. If you like the content, guys, smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're doing five videos every single day for you guys and at 10,000 subscribers. We just gave away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin and to 25,000 subscribers, we are giving away a Loaded Lion NFT to one lucky subscriber, so don't miss out on that, guys. Today, the market cap's a little bit uh, less volatile, I guess you could say. Bitcoin dominance is up, so is Ethereum dominance. Altcoins, just overall, guys, are struggling versus Bitcoin, which is doing very well. Now, that being said, you look at Crow, rank number 37, falling a little bit in overall uh, rank in crypto markets, but the market cap is about floating the same at 1.4, almost $1.5 billion market cap. Guys, right now, just all coins are falling versus Bitcoin. You will see that. Now, there are some exceptions near protocol, absolutely launching up. Probably one of the coins that displaced Crow's rank that was at 35, um, because this is a massive move, 28% gains. But when you look at the last seven days, you know, that's an exceptional performing coin. It's the fourth biggest moving coin next to Pepe, which moved 62%. Bitcoin SV and Bitcoin Cash moving for some reason this week. Sometimes you kind of see that. But overall, uh, not a lot of big movers next to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, just a couple off the top. There's always a couple altcoins that are performing a little bit more and some perform a little bit less. Uh, but looking at Crow, guys, specifically, this was very cool. And shout out to Cecilia on Twitter, who is a official Crypto.com ambassador, which we are not. We are not sponsored by Crypto.com. Um, very cool. I see that ambassador program. Don't really have any interest in doing it ourselves here. We just like putting out the content because we like the company. We like the project. We like the trajectory. And here's why, guys. Look at all the different countries. And this is such a great map, Cecilia, uh, where Crypto.com is currently positioned very well in Canada, in North America, over in the Caribbean, obviously, in South America. You have so many different places in Europe, big, big time in Europe, not so much in Africa yet, uh, a little bit over in Asia, Australia, they're doing well, and some in Asia, and, and more to come, guys. They are currently building it out and getting more licenses. You can see a list of the licenses that Crypto.com has. This is really great to see, guys. This is what we want to see out of Crypto.com more of this popping up across the globe. And compared to Binance, guys, they are in a much better position. Why? Because there's another breaking story today that Binance has withdrawn its license of uh, application with the Financial Market Authority of Austria. So they're pulling out of Austria. Binance is not moving forward their license application in Austria. Why? We don't know yet. This is breaking news. But should we be scared for Binance? You know, do, is Binance in trouble? No, I, I don't really believe that it is. When you look at CZ and you look at his Twitter and what's going on right now, here's a couple things I wanted to point out to you guys. One, signing in Kazakhstan, left to right, CZ, right there, the CEO of Binance, president of Kazakhstan, right there in the center. And then the Minister of Information Technology, uh, Baghdad Musin, right here. They are signing some... Uh, you know, documents basically getting more regulation in Kazakhstan moving forward. Here you go. Launches regulated digital asset platform in Kazakhstan, approved with the president and some of the other leaders in that country. So they're still moving forward. There's still adoption going on and they're still in these fights against the SEC and pushing back in a big, big way. You should be rooting on Binance. They are still moving forward, pushing forward, doing growth. They have a lot of great things when you start to look at what they got going on putting out tweets about the U.S. House Committee to vote on crypto and stablecoin legislation. At the end of the day, guys, what do we really need here? We need legislation and regulation to come in in a good way for crypto. 
And until that really happens, you know, there's going to continue to be FUD against some of the biggest players. Now, Binance is bigger than Crypto.com, so they're getting more FUD. But look at the good news, guys. They are still signing. I don't see any maps like this for Binance. But don't be fooled, guys. CZ is doing it right. He is building. Uh, and you look at Crow right now versus Bitcoin. And you look at all altcoins. I mean, Binance is doing it. Crow's doing it. Everything is going down. And so here's my big warning for you guys today. It is coming, guys. There's a very strong chance that we still got 20 to 20% 20 downward action versus Bitcoin for Crow, guys. And that's my warning for you because you look at the price here on the overall uh, in the U.S. dollar chart for Crow. That's coming down a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised to see a bounce off 5.3 cents here. And that very well, guys, could be, you know, we got a 20% downside versus Bitcoin. Well, if Bitcoin keeps going up and Crow comes down another 6%, then that could be the moment right here where maybe Crow coin bottoms against Bitcoin and then we get our bounce back up. So that'd be something that I'm looking for. Binance is also looking like it wants to fall down. And this is not unique to just these exchange tokens, guys. You could look at any coin out there right now, and I'm just gonna take a bet, and I'm just gonna say even Cardano. Yes, still down. Like these are all coming down versus Bitcoin right now. Here's the US dollar chart, which just, they're not moving up. Now Bitcoin's moving up, why? Because Bitcoin moves first and the altcoins follow, guys. But do not be fooled. These major exchanges, these altcoins, the developers, they're building, they are growing, they're expanding. We see countries warming up and adopting crypto more and more as the weeks pass by. It seems like every week now there's a new big story about crypto adoption with a bank, with an institution, with an exchange, whatever it might be. There's a lot coming in the pipeline, guys. So I am feeling good, but buckle up on the Crowcoin ride versus Bitcoin, guys, and continue to accumulate the projects you believe in. Do your own research, guys. That's all I got for you in this video. I want to give you guys a little quick update for the beginning of the week here, what we got going on, and a very, very cool map by Cecilia. Thanks for sharing it on Twitter. That's all I got in this one. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, folks, you got to remember to DCA, HODL, and of course, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I got two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. Peace.